brake a bit. Steer more. Steer more. Off the brake, off the brake, off the brake. Stop here. Stop, stop, stop. Steer to the right, steer to the right. Where should the clutch be? Okay, I think I need a brake after that. <laughs> <laughs> right. Hey guys, welcome to another driving lesson video. So today is Taz's sixth lesson, his sixth hour, and Taz is using the ultimate driving course so we can demonstrate to you guys how he helps you on your driving lessons. So Taz, um, what did we do uh, last lesson? We went onto the main roads and I was practicing my turns, my left and right turns. Yep, we did our left rights. Uh, like you said, it was on the main roads. And who was controlling the car on the main roads? Me. Yeah, and we also went into which gear? Three. Three, I went from three back to two. And how did all that go? Okay. It wasn't bad um, at all, was it? And I was, um, how much help was I giving you? Like, prompted, kind of. Yeah, I was still there. Obviously, because yeah. on the main road, you are still going to need that help, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, what was the one thing that we said could have been slightly better? Do my you remember? Positioning on my right turns. That's it, positioning on the right turns. What was uh, what was going wrong with it? I was going too like, far onto the other side. Yeah. We'll see how that goes today, yeah. Okay. And if it continues happening, then we'll get your reference point for it, yeah. Okay. Did you see the reference point for it in the Ultimate Driving Course? Okay, it's not going to be exactly the same because, like I said in the in the videos, um, everyone's reference point might be slightly different depending on the height and the way your seat's adjusted. Yeah. Okay, right. So um, today, uh, well, last lesson we said we were going to move on to what subject today? Crossroads. Crossroads. Yeah. Okay. So um, crossroads. Have you seen the videos? Yeah. Okay. So crossroads. Yeah, guys. It's like I think it's one of those subjects where instructors take ages given a briefing where they get out the books and talk about it because there's a lot to actually talk about and uh, because of the ultimate driving course has watched the videos i'm just going to ask her a few questions only just to make sure she she has got the correct knowledge on me yeah. okay okay Taz. so um we're not going to take too much time i'm not going to take out my books on that yeah, unless you give me the wrong answers yeah and on that note uh, guys on the way here me and Taz was having a chat and she was saying i work today one of your work colleagues where you started talking about driving lessons yeah was it he or, he or she, sorry? She. Yeah, and what did she say about her lessons? What happens on her lessons? That she spends too much time in the car, like half of a lesson, just looking at books and not enough time driving. Yeah, exactly. And that's what we're trying to get rid of mm -hmm. here. And even then, after spending all that time, yeah, she got a good instructor. Hopefully it's made sense to her. Yeah. But I've sat at the back and watched lessons, yeah, because I train instructors as well, where the instructor's gone on and on, and most of it didn't even make any sense. Yeah. But the videos, hopefully they were easy yep. for you to understand, yeah. Well, we'll find out now, yeah. <laughs> so let's get uh, started with these questions. So what's a crossroad? It's where two roads cross. Good. And what routine do we use at a crossroad? MS, PSL. Good. Well, same as junctions, yeah. Mm -hmm. And what different types of crossroads are there? There's marked, unmarked, and then controlled. Good, yeah. So um, the, uh, the controlled ones are the ones that, uh, well, a lot of people do find quite difficult, yeah, okay. What we're going to do today, we'll, we'll, we'll do both, yeah, we'll do both, we'll do uh, marked ones and we'll do the control ones as well, yeah, mm -hmm. okay. So, um, priorities, so when you're on the main road and you're turning right, yeah, who has priority? You. Good, and what, so this time though, you know when you turn right, so you know if you're on the main road and you're turning right, like you've done that before, yeah, we yeah. did that last lesson, yeah, but on a crossroads, what's going to be the difference? You've got cars coming towards you. Yeah, cars coming towards you. And either That's side it, yeah. of you. Either side, yeah. So you you could have cars just pulling out. Yeah, we just got to keep an eye on that. Good. And um, you know when you say say you want to turn right and the oncoming car wants to turn right, yeah. There's two techniques we use for that. What are they? Do you know? Um, one's offside to offside, and Good. one's near side to near side. Good. Now, do you know what uh, offside to offside is? Isn't that when the cars go behind each other? Brilliant. And the near side to near side one? They're turning in front of each other. That's it. To be honest, the reason why I use near side to near side and off side to off side is because that's what bees in the books and the training for the instructors, yeah? But to be honest, I use a simple term, turning in front of each other or behind each other, yeah? yeah? Okay? Turning behind each other is uh, more safer, do you know why? Isn't it because you get a better view of the traffic that's coming towards you? Brilliant, good. When you turn in front of each other, obviously the view's less, uh, your view's obstructed, yeah? But most roads are designed so you turn in front of each other, yeah. Do you know the reason for that? To control the traffic. Yeah, it basically helps the traffic flow, yeah. Um, so, 
just a couple more questions on the traffic lights and the traffic light sequence. So say if there's, you're at a controlled crossroad, yeah, there's traffic lights, your traffic lights are um, green, yeah. Um, what, what color are the traffic lights on the side going to be? Red. Good. And which are the lights going to be green most likely? The one in front. The one, that's it, good. So those two be the same, yeah, okay. And yours will only be green like you said when those are red, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And you know when, when your light's green and you want to continue straight ahead, and there's an oncoming car that wants to turn, turn to your left, yeah? yeah, wants to turn right. Who's got priority? Me. Good. And when you're turning right, who's got priority then? The oncoming traffic. Good. Yeah. Positioning. So did you watch the part on the position? This is where a lot of people struggle. So what kind of position are you supposed to get when you're waiting, at the, you know, in the middle of the traffic lights? In the middle, you have to be like, more towards the right, but not all the way. Just enough so you can like, let the cars come past. And you can't be like straight on. Brilliant. You have to be a Brilliant. bit angled. I totally get what you mean, good. <laughs> <laughs> and um, the other thing, so say you're waiting in the middle now, and there's a lot of oncoming traffic, you haven't got a gap, and then you've, you've seen your light turn red now. What are you gonna do? You need to, obviously make sure no car's coming, but you need to go. That's it, why? Because then the cars from the sides are gonna start coming. Perfect, sorted. That's enough, that's brilliant knowledge for you, yeah, okay. Uh, but like I said before, um, knowing it's one thing, yeah, obviously that saves us time here, but doing it practically is a totally different thing, yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> and it's quite difficult, crossroads are quite difficult to do, yeah, mm -hmm. okay, and all, obviously at this stage, you're not driving independently anyway, so obviously I'll be, on the crossroads, I'll be fully helping you through, yeah, there, okay, I'll take the responsibility there. With your general turns and that, should we um, continue at the same level where I was asking you a few questions on which gear to get and... And where to position on that? I think maybe more my positioning when I'm turning right. Okay. Yeah. And the rest you want should I just come in if you're missing something out then? On the on your turns, on your normal turns. Yeah. Yeah? Cool. So um obviously I've got the controls here. Mm. I'm not going to use them unless the situation arises. And if I do use them, I'll let you know why, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And before we get started, I just want to let you know uh, that Taz is actually a professional dancer, aren't you? <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Okay, thought I'd put you out there, and uh, because I've been telling her for a while, come on, get yourself out there. She's actually a really good dancer, and so tell us a bit about what you do. Um, okay, I'm a Bhangra dancer, and I have my own Instagram page. That Which is Jodie's on tour. Okay, well, I'll, I'll 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 put the spelling at the bottom. Yeah. There, yeah. <laughs> for those who want to know how to spell it. That's it. But with my cousin, and we've just like tried to take an urban take on Bhangra. Brilliant, brilliant. So guys. Let's get uh, adding, following, whatever it is, yeah, okay, <laughs> on that. And, um, well, I'm kind of like talking into starting our, their YouTube channel as well, so that'll be up and running as well, yeah. Yeah. Okay, right, let's get cracking with the lesson now, yeah. So, so whenever you're ready, sort out your... Have my seatbelt on anyway. I'm going to take it off to go forward. No worries. Ready? Yeah. Okay, so um, whenever you're ready, start the car and let's go find some crossroads to do now. Of the road we're turning left. Okay, we're in a driving position. 
Gente. the brake at the biting point please. Good, keep it there. And off the brake now. Gently accelerate. Good, bit more acceleration. And we're going to stop at that point, yeah. Yep. That's it. Good. Stop here. So what can we uh, use while we wait now? Then. And then, uh, uh, no, keeping gear one, yeah. Be right from the gas. You're the first car here, yeah. Okay, so just get yourself ready to move now, yeah. Okay, so where should the clutch be? Good. Okay. Right, so this is a crossroad now, so handbrake down now, please. Continue straight, and we've got priority. Keep going, a bit more gas. Have a quick glance to the right and left for anybody jumping the lights, and just continue. Hold well then. A bit more acceleration. Out on the main roads now, so which gear? Excellent, well done. Why is it not good to drive too slow? Because it means that more people are going to overtake you, and like try, you're going to obviously slow them up down behind you. That's it. driving straight across. Do we have to stop? Yeah. Okay, so clutch down. Good. Should to get one? Yes. Now? Well done. And continue now. Steer more, steer more, steer more. Well done. See here, we could steer early because of the park closure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Which mirrors want to enter the new road? That's it. He's off the gas there. Because we're going down and we can't obviously see our view. That's it, good. So at the end, at the end, at this crossroad, we're turning left. Okay. Yeah. So away from the curve, please. Yeah. We're turning left. Okay, so we're going to stop at the giveaway line because we haven't got the best view. Stop here, stop, stop, stop. Which here? So look, there's a road ahead as well, yeah. So as well as looking right and left, look ahead as well, yeah. Okay, is it clear? Um, yeah, I think yeah, so. Here it is. Carry on. Stay more, please. Stay more. That's 
ですね機械
you had a good position, but then you started stealing a bit too late. Yeah. Yeah. And all we mentioned not cutting the corner. Yeah, but stealing too early. But when this park car's in the way, you need to. You have to. Okay. You have to. As long as you checked it's safe, no one's there. But uh, we have to stay early because of the park cars. And the last one, you, you again, really good position. You know, with the center oil line, how you going over last listen. Uh, that position was good, but then just steering a little bit late. Okay, mm -hmm. that's all. And again, um, if you steer too late, what's the risk of that? You can hit the curb. Yeah, you can end up on the curb, yeah. Okay, and if there's a pedestrian walking there, you can hit them. Yeah, okay, or so. Or hit the park cars. That's it. So we've got to make sure um, we turn at the correct point here. Yeah. Again, we'll see how the next couple go. If you do need a reference point, I will. Uh, give you info. for that oven, giving you a reference point yet for that oven? No. Okay, for your right hands or your positioning, but we haven't given any on the, on the right hands apart from the stopping one, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Um, right, let's, uh, okay, right, let's stay in here now. Should we go on to some more? Uh, yeah, let's go on to some um, busy ones, traffic light control ones. Yeah? Um, obviously, I'm going to be helping you on them, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. okay, right, so um, it's like a last lesson, there's going to be a couple of little roundabouts on the way. When we do come to them, I'll fully talk you through, yeah. Okay, okay again, to try and stay focused on your steering, yeah. A couple of occasions you do, you did miss your mirrors. Yeah. yeah again, even at this uh, last lesson, I was like, don't worry about your mirrors at all, yeah, okay. But now, when you do enter a new road, or when you start just checking your mirrors and again, trying to assess what's going on, yeah. But more importantly, I'm still. Or, or rather you be keeping good control. If you feel it's going too much with your mirrors, you can say, yeah, if they pin, I want to leave my mirrors out for now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, uh, it, that does help some people. So guys, anybody watching that, you, you know, um, if you feel it's way too much for you to do, just tell your instructor to take responsibility for the mirrors and that observation until you get used to the control of the, uh, used to controlling the car. Okay, ready? So let's go. Let's move off. To the end. Yeah, but at the end of the road, we'll be turning left. Cover the brake, cover the brake, clutch fully down. Steer to the right a little bit. That's it, good. Off the brake now. And continue. A bit more acceleration. At the end of the road, we're turning left. Hold in good mirrors. Hold in. Pressure your right foot, Bina. Now, if you start, have a look to the right now. Is it safe to go? Good. Look to the right again, and then look this way, and carry on. Remember, not not just one look here. Yeah. Do at least two checks. Steer to the right. Steer to the right. More gas, please. A bit more gas. And which gear now? Good. A bit more acceleration as you're bringing the clutch up on. More acceleration for me. getting gear on keep going straight on only do when you're just about to fully stop yeah okay, okay otherwise we're okay with gear two and which gear now well done let's go the way you're taking your time ease off the gas now we're turning right here remember your position yeah don't go over the line so good. slow down more slow down more which gear for this turn do you think two yeah get it for me good off the brake Steer to the left a bit. Good. Is it safe to go? Yeah. Where should the clutch be then? Good. No gas, please. Cover the brake. Cover the brake. That's it. Good. Steer to the left a bit. And now uh, accelerate more. Well, ease off the gas. Let him overtake. Let him overtake. Carry on. A bit more gas. And another person ease off the gas. And more gas now. <laughs> Do you understand why we, why we say, you know, when you, uh, when you enter a new road, check your centre and right mirror? 
Okay, a bit more acceleration there, eh? a bit more. Come on, a bit more acceleration. And which gear now? Well done. If somebody's overtaking you, yeah. Okay, uh, what's the best thing to do? Just slow down. Yeah, just ease off the gas. Don't don't brake too much. Just ease off the gas and, and let them overtake, yeah. Because if you continue speeding up and there's an oncoming car, you can't bring me down. Yeah. yeah. Away from the curb. Well done, good steering. This roundabout we're turning left. Cover the brake, please. Brake a bit now. So, which way is the mixed signal for a left here? That's it, good. Select gear two, please. Away from the curb a little. Off the brake now, off the brake. Good. Clutch up. Focus on your position, away from the curb. And continue. Just follow the curb around, please. Keep going. I've, I've, I've got the ticks for you on the roundabout here. A bit more gas. That's it. Now we have another roundabout coming up. We're turning left again. So, well done. And just cover the brake for me, please. Cover the clutch as well, just in case we have to stop. Focus on your positioning. Can be safe to go. Keep going. More gas, please. Now, come we into the new road, let's not be too slow now. Are we going to speed up more? That's better. Good. And which gear now? Ease off the gas, please. Cover the brake. You can get through there just about still. That's it. Nice and slow, though. Brilliant. Excellent. And more gas now. So, if the gap gets that tight, we go through a bit slow, yeah. Okay. That's what we call a meeting situation. That's for another lesson, yeah. yeah. Here now, have a look to this side as well. Is it clear? No. Okay, so what could we use while we're waiting because we're on a hill? Handbrake. Yeah. Right foot, should be where now? What should you do with the left foot now? Get what point? Good. Is it safe? Yeah. Yeah, handbrake down. A bit more gas, please. A bit more gas. A bit more gas. That's it. And which gear now? Remember which mirrors as well. Good. We're taking the second turning on the right. This is the first one. You know where that blue car is coming from, coming out from, yeah? So, which mirrors? Good. Got in here. Yeah, so not just yet, not just yet. Bit more gas, bit more gas. Now steer more. Steer back to the left a bit. And we'll have to wait for the oncoming car. Clutch down and stop here. Stop, stop here, stop. Which gear now? Good. Get that biting point for me. Get the bite, get the bite. That's your only there. Steer more now. Steer more, steer more, steer more, steer more. No gas. Good. Steer back this way. 
come back to the left. A bit more acceleration, please. A bit more acceleration. More, more, more. A bit more acceleration for me. straight on here yeah this is a crossroad so the lights are green we can continue let's have a glance to the left and right for anybody jumping the lights look ahead good and continue and again ease off the gas for me away from the curb please okay and continue steer slightly to the right cover the brake please cover the brake clutch down select gear two good Steer this way a bit, steer back to the right now, steer more to the right, more, 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 and clutch up, more gas, more gas please, well done, like I said, I didn't really plan this, yeah, okay, and um, this will help you with the next few lessons, this is called meeting situations, yeah, not leaving gear two, leaving gear two, keep going, a bit more gas, ease off the gas now, just in case the car turned, yeah, clutch down now, steer this way, cover the brake, steer to the right now, stop here, select gear one please, Okay, get the biting point, get your foot on the brake, get the biting point, a bit higher, hold it there now, off the brake, steer to the right, a bit more acceleration, well done, good, steer more to the right, excellent, okay, ease off the gas a little bit, that's it, off the gas, off the gas, off the gas, steer to the right now, steer more, well done, a bit more acceleration, excellent, well done, yeah, okay, good. Okay, at the end of the road here, we're turning left, yeah? Start your routine now. What does that sign say? Stop, yeah. So this is a stop junction, yeah? So we don't give ways before, we haven't done a stop. Off the brake, off the brake. Where do we need to stop, do you know? On the line. That's it, good. So we need to stop fully on the line there. Stop, good. So where should the clutch be now? Martin. Yeah. Is it safe? Yeah. Good. Steer, steer more. Well then, a bit more acceleration. Which gear now? At the end of the road, we're turning right. So, away from the park cars, please. And slow down a bit more. Which gear are we going to need here? One. Well then. Good. That's a good stopping position. Is it safe to go? Yeah. Okay. So, how are you going to move now then? Right, hills, so don't change your gear at the normal time. Yeah, we're going to change it a bit later. A bit more acceleration, please. More acceleration for me. A bit more acceleration. A bit more. Going a bit more. And gear two now. Good. A bit more acceleration. Steer to the right, steer, select gear two now, don't brake, don't brake now. Clutch up for more acceleration, because they're giving us way. Steer to the right a bit, ease off the gas now. Ease off the gas. Good. And more acceleration. Well done. Let's go into the middle there, keep going. Uh, any oncoming vehicles? No. Yeah. 
stay to the left of it. Yeah, clutch down, clutch down. We need to stop for like off the brake. Get gear one quickly, please. Get gear one and continue. Go on. Stay right. more. Yep. Stay more. More gas, please. Well done. Stay back this way. And which gear now? Well done. Which mirrors as well? Well done. And which gear now? to the right, steer to the right. Where should the clutch be? Where should the clutch be? Off the brake. Off the brake, late roll. Steer to the right a bit more, a bit more. And stop here, stop. Good. Okay, I think I need a break after that. <laughs> <laughs> right, cool. How did that go? I just found it a bit scarier than normal. That was a lot more intense. Mm. Yeah, even for me here teaching, I had to like, I didn't take control of the car, yeah. I didn't grab the steering anyway, did I? Yeah, that means you did really well on it, yeah, okay. Obviously I hadn't planned this part of the route. The route that I had planned was a bit more <laughs> simple, yeah. yeah. See how many hills we had there, yeah. and those meeting situations. Meeting situations, we were, gonna, we were gonna do within the next two lessons anyway, yeah. I was gonna actually do watch the video on you know on the ultimate driving course on meeting and uh, adequate clearance next. But uh, we, did, we did a lot of it today. Yeah, well, like I said, it wasn't planned. It wasn't planned. Okay, um, how do you feel your driving's going? I don't know. So what do you think? Good? Bad? What way what areas do you need to improve? I feel like it's in between. So what would you say is good about your driving? I'm not steering, maybe. Sometimes. You're steering sometimes? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, um, my gear changing. Gears have been brilliant. But I feel like I go too slow. Because yeah. I'm used to driving in the quiet. Yeah, the state, yeah, yeah, I got yeah, too slow. Yeah. And that's like I said, it's a, uh, well, last lesson we did when I was fully talking through everything, yeah. Mm -hmm. And today, we're out there, and yeah, but on the last few turns, you built up your speed quite well, okay. Um, obviously, we talked about the risks of driving too slow, yeah. but I'll keep reminding you till, till you get into the habit. Okay, there's no shortcut to it, yeah, yeah. okay. I'll just keep reminding you, and you keep, you just, just keep doing it. One thing that um, you were doing well when we, in our first few lessons, yeah. But now you, for some reason, um, l let's see if you can work out where it is. So you know when we um, do our approaching turns, yeah, okay? Uh, which gear do we select? Two. Yeah, we select gear two, yeah, okay? And then once you select the gear two, yeah, you know as you're taking the turn, yeah, where should your rifle be? Covering the brake. Yeah, where has yours been today? Over the accelerator. <laughs> yeah, over the accelerator. And if it's over the accelerator, yeah, will that help you slow your car down if, you, if there's any kind of risk in the road no you see on this road it was downhill so what's going to happen to the speed of the car naturally downhill it's going to get faster it's going to get faster yeah so where should you thought i've been over the brake yeah see there this was a cross road i know I, I wanted to say to you look to the right and left here yeah, but i couldn't because that's actually <laughs> like um coming about your uh, way to put your feet here yeah. mm -hmm. okay um like this is where a lot of instructors would just go for the pedals and that and um mm -hmm. uh, come in but i like to do more verbally first so yeah. if if you um, if I can get the instructions out and you listen to them and carry it, then it's then it's cool. I don't have to go for the pedals and that, yeah. Okay. But yeah, so crossroads, that that one, uh, we did that, our first right turn, didn't we? At the traffic lights. Yeah. Yeah. So when we first got there, and I said, is there any oncoming vehicle? It didn't look as if there was, but then we got a bit closer. And there what was. did we see? Yeah. Did you see what kind of speed he was coming at? It's gone fast. Yeah. Just imagine we just cut across and someone's coming quite fast like that. What would happen? Obviously, an accident. Head-on collision, yeah. Okay. So that's why, you know when you turn right at traffic lights, you've got to really be 100% sure that it is safe before you take 
take the turn, yeah. Our, our position where we stopped in the end, it was a bit too far back, okay? And if we stop a bit too far back, why is that a risk, do you know? Because obviously like, I can't see. Okay. Uh, but we could see there because there's no one else around. There's no car turning that way either. Yeah, so we had a good view. Do you know what the other risk could be? If you So if, instead of going forward and stopping in the correct position, you should stop too far back all the time. Any idea? Isn't it going to look... Could your car roll back again? Or like obviously other road users aren't going to be aware of what you're doing? Uh, no, not really. We've got a signal on. Okay. So uh, I'll tell you that. Just, what about the cars behind you? Any idea about Do you going to slow them down as well right now? Yeah, so you know if you stop too far back, yeah, you're going to... They can try and overtake. Maybe not overtake, say if they want to turn right as well, yeah? So you know when you go into the middle, it's all about how much space there is, yeah? For, you know, from the light that we just passed, yeah? So if you stop in the correct position, another car can follow you into the middle as well. Yeah. If you stop too far back, you're just blocking all the other cars from coming past the door, yeah? Okay? Right, um... Should we do a few more? I yeah, we'll, I'll, we'll keep at this level. Yeah. Yeah, we've still got about, about another 20 minutes, yeah. In today's level, we'll just keep keep at this level and then, um, uh, well, see how it goes until you feel a bit more like, okay, I can do more myself. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to keep helping you like that. Yeah. Okay. Ready? Yeah. So, move off whenever you're ready, please. Even on this road, like I said, it wasn't uh, part of my plan route today, but there's going to be loads of situations with park cars and that, yeah. Yeah. And I'll be just telling you what to do yeah okay and you just do what you've been doing you've been especially on the you know that's there's a couple of times on that steep hill it was like um, I have no money on you stalling because that's what everyone does for the first time on the on the steep hill when you have to stop and move but you listen to me I said hold the clutch there get the bite they use the gas and you did it didn't rush off yeah that was good well then move off when you're ready then Signal's going to be good here now. Hold it. straight on her. Have a look to the right and left, make sure nobody jumps in the lights. A bit more acceleration as well.
Okay, any idea why I made you pull up there? Pull up here. No. Okay. Do you know, remember when we pulled up last time when we parked up last time? And How says, was that? Can I? <laughs> no, no, you know when we just pulled up earlier? Yeah? Uh, how did that parking go? Um, Do you remember? Was it too close to the curb? Yeah, I had to come in. Uh, you, you forgot to put your clutch down as well. Uh, you didn't put your clutch down. I had to remind you of your clutch. It was too close to the curb. I had to move you away as well. Well, I asked you to move away. Uh, so I wanted to check. If it was the same, then we need to do something about it. Well, how was it here this time? Yeah. Perfect. Good. Move off whenever you're ready now. Left here, those cars are turning left as well. Yeah, well, they're turning right to our left. Who's got priority? Us. Yeah, okay. So, have your hand ready on the handbrake? The lights are going to change soon now. What could that person do? Okay, carry on now. Continue. I see, look into the road. A bit more acceleration. Hold in. Remember which mirror is. Good. Is it safe to build up our speed? Of 
doing that. Right. Are these traffic lights retaining bright? It's okay to go over the markings with this park policy now, right here. A bit more acceleration up to the lights. Stay in the right hand lane now. Stay to the right of it. That's it. So, do you know why I should just stay to the right there? Because I'm coming too far to the left lane. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because you were thinking about doing what there? What were, you, what were you focusing on when you were oh, changing my gear? Yeah, changing your gear yeah. If the lights are red, you can, you, you, because the lights are just turned red, you can stop and then change it. And it's only when, you know, when we when we approach and we want to be ready to go quickly, then you get gear on just before you get there, okay? Mm -hmm. Right here now, we'll be changing right here. So we'll have to wait for those oncoming cars, yeah? See, there's two lanes there. You know, that lane with the black car, they're turning that way, yeah? So we're going to be turning in front of each other, okay? That's the near side to near side. So there's no point in rushing there, go and handbrake down, let's go nice and slow into our position. I'll talk you to I'll, I'll talk you to the correct position, yeah. Steer to the right a little bit more. Off the gas, off the gas, clutch free down please. Steer to the left, steer to the left. Good. A bit more to the left. Roll then straighten your wheel now. Go a bit more forward, use the bite, use the bite. Brilliant, clutch down and brake. Signal right again. Handbrake up for me. Right foot on the gas. Biting point ready. Brilliant. This is a good position now, yeah? Oncoming cars. So yeah. if the lights turn red, they should stop. And then we're going to go, yeah? So the white car's slowing down, handbrake down now. Look into the road, steer more, steer more. Well done. A bit more acceleration. And remember which mirrors and which gear now. Will it speed up a bit more? A bit more gas, please. That's it, good. These traffic lights retaining your right. So remember which mirror is the signal there. Good. Okay, to the right hand lane. This isn't a crossroad, yeah, but it's the same concept where we're retaining right in front of oncoming cars. Yeah, clutch down, select gear two. Steer to the right a bit, steer to the right, clutch up. Don't steer yet. Clutch up, clutch up, cover the brake, steer now. That's it. Now onto the gas, please. Remember which mirrors? Good. A bit more acceleration. Clutch up please, clutch up and I'll take your turn. Go and continue. Well then. Good. Now watch your mirrors. Oh, keep going, stay to the right of it. And reach gear now. Well then. So here we have another crossroad. There's a road on our right, road on our left. So who's got priority here? Keep going. Okay, just have a quick glance, make sure no one's pulling out, straight across. Well done. Ease off the gas, please cover the brake. Brake a bit more. Well done, ease off the brake now. Okay, at the end of the road, we're turning left. So this is a road ahead of us. Look, this is in pulley in line. This is what we call slightly staggered, yeah. Okay, so keep looking. Is it safe to go? Yeah. Okay, anybody coming out the road ahead? No. Okay, let's go then.
off the brake. Going to the middle now. Steer more to the right, please. A bit more. That's enough steering. Keep it there. Yeah, clutch down. Clutch down. Steer back to the left a bit. Hold on. See, this is turning in front of each other, yeah? Near side to near side. Stop here now. So we've got a good position so we can see what's going on now, yeah? Okay. If it stopped too far back, we wouldn't be able to see. And biting point. And let's go. Nice and easy. Go on. Move off. Steer more. Well did. A bit more acceleration. Or let's speed up more now. And which gear? Stay 
steer to the right, steer to the right. Well done. And go a bit more forward, please. Are you going to brake, 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 brake? Get the bite in point. Get the bite. That's it, steer more. So can remember where to look now. Where else are you going to look, Taz? Forward. And that's it. Let's have cook ahead, me. What is it safe? Yeah. Let's go. Fighting point. So, the, so that's the first time the cars roll back. Would you like that today? Yeah, a bit more gas. It's because I forgot to find the buying point first. That's it. Good. As long as you get that knowledge there, yeah? Okay. There was no one behind us. If there was somebody behind us, what could have happened? Could have hit the front of their car. That's it. Again, I didn't go for the pedal, but because you listened as soon as I asked you to brake, yeah? You did it. If you hadn't, then I would have gone for the brake pedal. Look at being straight ahead here now, yeah? Again, this is another crossroad. So will you remember where to look? That's it. Do you have to wait for anyone? Hold it. So this is the road that was closed earlier on. Said just like before, we have still have plenty of space, yeah. Okay. But as soon as I said before, you went <laughs> just like that, yeah. Okay, right. So you could switch off the engine, right? So I'll stop because our hours up, yeah. Obviously, we had to reroute because of the closed road, yeah. yeah. So, well, we're only five minutes away from where we normally end up, anyway, mm -hmm. yeah. But I don't want to go over an hour, like, guys, we're sticking to just one hour lessons, and we're not going to like this lesson, they were like. A lot of stuff that went on quite intense yeah we're not going to cut anything out we're going to we're not going to obviously edit the video but don't crop anything out yeah because like i said these are real driving lessons we're not just putting up just good stuff out there we obviously want your mistakes on there because any learner they'll know that these kind of mistakes that you you've made today everyone makes them they absolutely it's absolutely fine to to do it at this stage the, the main thing that i look at is when you make the mistake have you realized yeah what's your knowledge like your knowledge is brilliant at the moment yeah it's brilliant at the moment so, um, how do you feel about crossroads, firstly? Um. So, from the start to now, obviously you had the knowledge on them because you watched the videos on the Ultimate Driving Course, yeah? But actually doing them practically, like I said to you at the side, it's a whole different yeah. thing, yeah, okay? But do you understand what to do with them? I think my straight and like obviously left turns is easy, but it's just like, you know, the positioning when you have to go right, because you have to get it like bang on. Yeah. That's, I find, a bit confusing. But at this stage, the... You're not yeah, and I'm and I'm helping you yeah. at this stage. Yeah, okay. Like, if we had another lesson on this, it's obviously obviously it will get better. Yeah, I think next lesson we'll we'll um, stick to these and give you a bit more yeah. um, responsibility. Yeah, okay. Good. Because even some of our turns, what was happening with our gears today? I was getting a bit confused of which ones to. Which ones to get? Not selecting them. Selecting the gear. Like today, gear three 
Yeah, I'm still waiting for the time you're actually going to gear one. I'm sure a lot of people that are <laughs> that are listening, um, uh, that are watching, have, have gone into gear one instead of gear three. Yeah, guys, if you have, just let me know in the comments. Yeah, but uh, you haven't done that at all. Well, one thing you were getting like a couple of um, emerging situations you came to. Yeah, uh, we're coming up to a giveaway sign. Yeah, and um, obviously we have to stop there and give away. Which gear do we need? One. Yeah, what were you saying? Two. You're trying, yeah, you're trying to get gear two, and on a couple of the approaching ones. Gear, you're getting gear one, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I want you to just continue with these videos, yeah. yeah? Um, I want you to watch the crossroad one still, yeah, and um, maybe just recap on the juncture ones briefly, yeah. Okay, just make sure that knowledge is always there. Make make the most out of the the video course that you've got, yeah. Okay, so we, like I said, we, we don't have to talk about it much, much here, yeah. Um, the hill. So what what were you confused about? You said you so you're approaching a hill, yeah, yeah. And you're, you said you're confused whether to speed up or slow down. I'd get confused, like, you know, obviously, like, if people are coming fast towards you, yeah, then obviously I'm they're going to be on their side of the yeah. road, yeah. But we still have to be cautious because as we go over the hill, what could be there? Park cars. Park cars, people crossing, yeah. yeah. Okay. So we don't want to be too fast. We want to try and like kind of maintain a speed, yeah. But you know, on a hill, it's like riding a bike, yeah. So say when you get to the hill, say if you ease off the gas, what's going to happen to the speed of the car? It's going to slow down. It's going to slow down quite a lot, yeah. So that's why. You'll you'll need to press a bit more gas just to maintain that speed that we've got. Okay, you don't want to totally come off the gas. So normally on a flat surface, if, if, if we see a bit of danger, we ease off the gas, yeah. don't we? On an upper road, you have to. Yeah. Okay, we we just we should keep on the gas. Hills, like I said, we stopped and moved off on some steep hills today, which wasn't planned. Yeah. yeah? And you did really well, really well. Like the gears, I did say at one point change gears later, but that's in the video. On, on the hills, yeah, yeah, that's explained exactly when to change your gears in the course, but we're not going on to that just yet anyway, yeah. But yeah, I'm happy with that lesson. Like I said, it was quite intense, a lot of me, lot, lot of stuff for me to say to yeah. slide, but you, you were doing it, you were doing it. We had loads of um, difficult situations there as well, which we dealt with. We didn't cause, did we, did we cause anyone a risk there? there? No. Caused anyone danger? No, I don't apart think from, so. Apart from the start, I think we could have been a little bit quicker a couple of yeah. times, like you said. And we had a couple of cars overtaking us, but yeah. we got our learner signs on, and after that, you were you were you were quite good in building up your speed. Yeah. But yeah, um, another good lesson. Yeah, so six hours done, and um, we're not at a bad level for for um, six lessons. Yeah, so you know what we're going to do next lesson. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, I'll fill your booklet in in a in a bit. Yeah. Yeah. But guys, um, that's it. And remember, anybody learn to drive, um, if you think you need help. Um, with basically understanding what's involved in the subject that you're doing if your instructor's not explaining it correctly or you just want there a bit of extra support the ultimate driving course is for you and like always uh, thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video